Across many parts of Africa, sleeping sickness is a constant threat, particularly to those living in extreme poverty. Some 65 million people are at risk of contracting sleeping sickness from a parasite transmitted through the bite of a tsetse fly. Without prompt diagnosis and treatment, the parasite will invade the central nervous system and usually prove fatal. In 1979, I was a student at this time and I worked in the parasitology lab. And in this lab was my very first contact with this compound called Feximidazole. During a review which I published in a parasitology journal in 2003, I reviewed all these classes of compounds in this specific area of treatment. And uh, colleagues from the organization DNDI, which is a daughter from uh, Medicine Sans Frontières in Geneva, they, they came across my article and they recognized this information on Feximidazole and they called me. So we worked together with WHO and DNDI to really repeat all the tests and see whether Feximidazole was really the baby and the jewel we were looking for. Personally, for me, sleeping sickness uh, is as a personal history. My, my mother uh, was always scared when I was born in East Africa that, that sleeping sickness would affect us as a family. And so to be able to be part of something that gets close to elimination or sustains el elimination would be a real privilege. We have been collaborating with the World Health Organization since 2001 on sleeping sickness. Now, why are we working on sleeping sickness? It's one of the most devastating neglected tropical diseases that really touches vulnerable populations in, in Africa, the most poor populations. And so it made a lot of sense for us to collaborate with WHO in such a partnership. We have been uh, sustaining this partnership through financial support, through drug donations, first of all, but also through direct financial support to build capabilities and also to detect patients. Because of this partnership, we have actually been able to screen more than 40 million patients since 2001 and have detected more than 200,000 patients that we have been able to treat against sleeping sickness. In 2009, following the meeting with Professor Hanel, DNDI and Sanofi formed a partnership to change the history of sleeping sickness and develop an all-oral treatment that works for both stages of the disease. That treatment is fexinidazole. Some of the key milestones were that we developed the submission dossier for the new product and we submitted that to the European Medicines Agency in early 2018. And then they gave us a positive opinion very quickly in November 2018. Subsequently, we uh, filed the dossier with the Democratic Republic of Congo and got an approval immediately before Christmas the same year, which is quite exceptional. So now we're working with the countries and WHO to actually start distributing the product through their uh, national control programs for sleeping sickness. To have an, an approval 39 days after a positive opinion from the agency is absolutely, I think it's, it's a record, it's a world record. I've never seen that in any company. It's, it's about one month and on Christmas day on top of it. So it cannot be a nicer Christmas present for a researcher in his life.